Okay. We're back. We may have found our solution to our problems. With the laundry place. Originally, initially I was lost by some help. And now put up uh, who it is. His name is Spoonerism. Check out his channel. It's really fun. Watch his videos a lot. You know, I'm a big fan of him. He doesn't really know me at all. But, um... Yeah. Okay, here's our little thing. Yeah. Give me my fucking thing. Battery. So yeah, check out Spoonerism's channel. It's a, it's a really good channel, man. Trust me. And let's, let's start off. Let's keep going. Dumb body. batteries five batteries woohoo thank you father martin you are a genius we love you martin we love you wait one second as i thought another battery give me a fucking battery we're gonna escape with my grasp all day. Wow, I'm gonna be doing this all fucking day, man. it here. Okay, I'm back.
This is a big fucking asylum, which I shouldn't be surprised about, but shit, I can't fathom this, man. Pretty fucking spooky, too. We've got to find something else, man. Yes. Okay, I saw that. Follow me, ghost, man. So then I guess I go over there. Alright. Naked. upset. I just wanna think those fucking baggy as fuck again. I hear him but I don't see him. Oh. <sighs> 
Mike Hamlin, no! Mike Hamlin. No! Oh, the negatives. My camera. No. <laughs> you need your camcorder to navigate the darkness. So what? I'm gonna to go down there. Well then, I guess I'm gonna have to go get the camera. What could go wrong? Is that a battery? <gasps> Can't let me go around. <sighs> Thank you, light. Okay, um, shit, I don't know where to go, this is the thing. I'm gonna have to fill all this fucking lag. So then I have to come over here then. Ugh. I just go this way, I mean, there has to be a reason why. I've been in the darkness before. Shouldn't really be a problem. Oh, anyway. I need to open that. So it's some kind of avalanche. I mean, not avalanche, but fuck. Um, I can't think of the word of it. Like, an earthquake, I guess, erupted, I guess, you know? And it took, and it that's what caused it to, you know. And you know, it kind of caused the, me it direct indirectly caused me to fucking crash, I guess, and lose my fucking camcorder. So guys, I didn't go full retard. I didn't go full retard. The um fucking avalanche shit did. Oh what a dick.
Good buddy. Oh, your face. Okay, I came to there. Go back, come back. Okay, I guess that's where I have to go. Yep. Pick up your fucking camera, man. Oh, I went around. Damn it, go! You idiot! I had no idea where I was supposed to go. Okay, hold on. Find your way to the third part. Okay. Well. I died. So, I don't know where the fuck I'm supposed to go. I'm experiencing major lag. And I kind of don't know where to go. lag
Sugar suckers. Shit. Let's make this a 30 minute episode because why the fuck not, right? I'm about to say, after I got all those fucking batteries, now, now is the time that I fucking nearly die, I guess. And they fucking spooked me out, man. <laughs> major lag. Hey, if I can make that, then this game's fucking stupid. Time on my registration block, okay. Let me reload. I died from doing that. I thought the stick was gonna support me, man. <sighs> wow. Alright, let's try again. reality, oh, there goes gravity, and my camera's going crazy, I'm fucking delirious. Good. No, man, I don't know. I have no words for this to explain what has happened over the course of this game. I should stop doing that. Oh, shit, big guy. Big guy, I saw him. You are gonna come in there. Fuck, man. Dude, if he comes through there, I am gonna fucking up, gonna freak out.
wooden bucket sleeve. Fuck. Ta-da! I don't need these two rooms. That's her fucking sure. See that body though. This guy got wrecked. to that next. I need to go check that, that, um, stuff. The, um, over there, document. Cindy. Another interesting conversation with Billy this morning. He says he's been talking to Dr. Wernicke again for his therapy in the white place. 
I'm disturbed by the fact that his delusions have only gotten worse with medication, which is in the literature for benzodiazepine. <laughs> in any case, his dead doctor friend is filling his head with German folklore. Apparently, the only thing that can kill the wall rider are her perfect butterflies vomited from a demon called Horror Cruzy. The fuck? The butterflies suck the breath from people's lips and drink blood from their nipples. They can also take the form of domesticated upright pigs or sick dogs. So Bailey's got that going for him. You'd mentioned Bailey talking about his mother's tattoos before or any of them chance of tattoos of butterflies. Next time I get outside of the Merca firewall, I'm going to look online and see if there are any actual bases in German folklore or if Billy's making this garbage up from whole cloth. Would love to compare notes sometime. Wouldn't mind doing it over a glass of wine. Gets lonely up here on too, Kurt. And they disguise play. Saving. <sighs> translated from German. Um, translated. I have professional. Blah 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 yeah, okay. So I guess that's like a death note. I guess. Maybe. How many batteries do I have? Six? That's pretty good. Guess you can't go in there. Yes, I'm supposed to tell you. The key to the house of God is in the theater. Behind the light. In the theater. Behind the light. You have to see the movie. So that's where I left the car. Okay? Sir, look at that making friends. All right, the movie. Watch the movie, then check for the card behind the light. All right. Ouch. Alright, I 
guess this is where we're gonna go. Four more minutes, and then we'll end the episode here. Kind of spooks. You know what I mean? Sorry. Alright. Thank you for that. Thank you for your blessing piano music. That was very good and joyous. But now, since you have stopped, I am now kind of spooked. He was in here, now he's not. Exit interview recorded December 27th, 1985 in Los Alamos, New Mexico. Clearance mm -hmm. Sierra Alpha, subject Dr. Rudolf Wernicke, 14866. New Mexico. The views on the theater. There was no alteration to the footage at all, no trickery? None. In June of 1943, you recorded three instances of spontaneous bleeding. Uh, half a dozen test subjects began to develop brain tumors. Yes. The autopsies revealed that the tumors were pure lead. It killed them. Can you explain why the results could not be reproduced in the United States? I have my theories. My homeland in those years it's impossible to understand the things we felt, what we believed. Mm -hmm. The overwhelming fear, ecstatic rage, and English words are insufficient. Mm. More than hope. A human mind in that environment is capable of extraordinary things. You're saying the experiment needed the proximity to this. To overwhelming madness. Only a test subject who had witnessed enough horror was capable of activating the engine. Do you believe your test subjects achieved something supernatural? No. Do you think that they contacted something supernatural? Nothing is supernatural. Then what was it? You said Project Wallrider was a gateway. A gateway to what? Interesting. Very interesting. Is that behind the light? I saw something. Loading. You have to find Bernie. Only way. Okay. Oh, okay, we're past the um forty minute mark. Shit, I wish I had more time. What was that saying? So, I guess this is we are for now. I'm gonna check upstairs real quick, because that's behind the light thing. It's locked. I need something. And, um, if you enjoyed, like, subscribe for more, at last, all that stuff. See you guys on the next episode, which could be our final episode. Who knows? Later.